Alleluia. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah for being in the midst of everything we do. For God, you are worthy of all our praises. And there's nothing that we will do. There's nothing too hard for you. And God, on this wonderful night that you have made, that not only that we shall rejoice, but we also shall be glad in it. For you alone are worthy to be praised. For you alone are great. And Father, we thank you for the move that you are getting ready to do. Lord God, we thank you in advance for the power that's going to be seen on tonight. We thank you for the fall of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the move of your wonderful spirit. And God, on this night, we ask that you move like never before. Hallelujah, we thank you. We invite you into the mist. We invite you into our worship. For you alone are worthy and worthy to be praised and God we thank you for another move we thank you for another power we thank you for another praise and God we honor you and we will keep you in our hearts and God we ask that the Holy Spirit fall upon this place Move, transform, and renew. Do whatever needs to be done so that your word can be sent here on tonight. And God, you are great. And you are mighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Right now, we thank you, God. We thank you for being Jehovah Jireh. We thank you for providing all our needs. We thank you. Hallelujah. And God, we bless your name. We bless your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, saints. You have reached the TBBC broadcast with your author, writer, speaker, and inspirer, John D. King. I just want to say hello on this wonderful evening and just to say I want to thank the saints for um, all of their responses and I want to thank everyone for sending me um, wonderful uh, Christmas emails over the Christmas holiday and over the New Year holiday and I thank you again. We are coming into a new year. We actually now we're in a new year. 
almost two weeks into the new year. And my question is, what have you done so far? What have you done that can set a landmark for the new year? What have you thought about that can bring uh, great things into the new year? What have you been created to do for this new year? I, I know that we are in a new year and I know that it sets us straight it sets us for a new season and I believe in this year um, things are going to be greater things are going to be better in this new year we must believe it we must receive it we must walk in it so right now Whatever plans you have for the new year, don't hold back on none of your plans. Keep moving forward. Be steadfast. Don't move, don't waver in the new year because greatness is coming. Greatness is coming. So I pray right now that no matter what you embark on in the new year, that it shall be successful. No matter what you place your hands to do in the new year, it shall be successful. And make sure that when you reach that greater point of success, Make sure you re-event yourself so that you can go higher in success. Because there's no limit that you can go in success. There's no limit to where you can go to be great. There's no limit. Don't limit yourself. Pursue after greater things. Pursue after higher things. Allow God to use you like never before. Set a landmark. Set that landmark in your heart that you may never go back on your path. And I know that everything will fall into place. But I believe it's up to us. It's up to us to be faithful. It's up to us to go after some of these things we 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 want to go after. It's up to us. It's up to us to go higher. It's up to us to go further. It's up to us. It's up to you. It's up to me to put this new tread into action. It's up to you. It's up to me to be creative. No one else. So I ask you again have you, how far have you been? How far are you going to be creative in this new year? How far are you going to go to be successful? How many things you plan on accomplishing in the new year? What are some of the goals and plans you have that you are ready to conquer? That you are ready to put into play? How about that book? 
How about that business? How about that ministry? How about that new family trip? How about that new family adventure? Why not? Why not? Put things in order so that you can go after them like never before. Why not? What's, what's holding you back from your dreams? What's holding you back from your goals? If it's finances, then it's not a dream or a goal. Because I can tell you from experience that finances is not what makes your dream. Finances is not what makes your goals. It's what's in your heart. You don't need finances to start your goals and your dreams. You don't need finances to go after what you want to go after in life. You don't need that. Just pursue it. Pursue it. Go after it like never before. Go after it like never before. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to go higher. Challenge yourself to go further. Challenge yourself to think on levels you never thought before. Challenge yourself to walk in places you never walked before. Challenge yourself to put your hands to do something that you have never done before in your life. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself this year. Take things to another level. Take your study life to another level. Take your prayer life to another level. Take your reading life to another level. Take your ministry to another level. Take your business to another level. Take your book writing to another level. Take your poetry to another level. Take your family to another level. Levels. Levels. Go higher. Go from one level to the next, to the next. Go to the next level, then to the next. Don't stop on just one level. Don't get comfortable. Keep moving forward. Don't allow nothing to catch up to you, but keep moving forward. Anything that is good for you, it will arrive right beside you. As long as you're moving, anything that is meant to be there will be right there with you, right in beside you when you're moving. When you're constantly moving, if it's not for you, it'll fall off, fade away. Relationships, people, places, things. Sometimes we try to bring things with us people with us, places with us that have no room on that page in our lives. We left them in the last chapter, but then we try to bring them to the next one. And it prolongs our progress. It prolongs the meeting place. It prolongs on where we're going to go the time it's going to take for us to get there. Stop pulling things that are not meant to go with you. Hallelujah. Don't step out of your garden. Don't start tilling your ground to find something that you cannot pull inside, back inside your garden. But you continue to till and pull your garden. Work it. 
what as whatsoever belongs in your garden will come. And it will connect easily. And I pray this. I pray this. That you shall continue to move forward. Never looking back on the old things. Don't allow people to keep you in your old. Because you're now walking in your new. Don't allow it. This is John D. King, author, writer, speaker, inspirer, TBBC broadcast, Bridgeport Book Club. Every Monday night, you can find me on soundviewtv.org at 5.30. And on Wednesdays at 12 p.m., you can find me on 100.9 FM, local station, Bridgeport, Connecticut. And you can also find me on unodad.org, unodadradio.org. And also, you can find me on Saturday mornings, 100.9 FM for half an hour, the Bridgeport Book Club, unidadradio.org. Hallelujah. And you can also find this broadcast, the TBBC broadcast, radio station. You can find me here also. Twitter, Facebook, Google. My books are on Amazon. Barnes & Noble Online. John D. King. You can actually find me anywhere. Just Google my name, you'll find me. Google the Bridgeport Book Club, you'll find me. Google the TBBC Broadcast, you will find me. Email me. Send me a message. Let me know what you think. You can find me on YouTube. Let me know what you think. Glory to God. So that we can stay connected and network together. Amen. Until we meet again, God bless. And I pray the power of God flourish in your life that will bring you favor like never before in Jesus name God bless